Mike Myers, and it's time for another Mac Minute. This week we're going to talk about dictation. Did you know you can talk to your computer and it will type exactly what you, ta what you tell it to? We're going to show you how you do that right now. So by default, dictation is turned off. So the first thing you got to do is go turn that on. To do that, you go up to your Apple and you go to System Preferences and you will see dictation and speech right here. And we're going to turn that on just like so. And what it's going to tell you is when you dictate text, it's going to talk to Apple and send your text to Apple to be translated. So what it's, it's telling you is when you talk to me, I'm going to send it to Apple. So it's going to leave your computer. Just want to make sure you know that. And I'm going to enable it because I do know that. So enable dictation. I have shortcut set to press function key twice. So I'm going to leave it like that. And I am in English. I don't know anything else but English. So I'm going to close this down. And to demonstrate this, I'm actually going to bring up text edit because we're going to type into text edit. So there is text edit. Let's bring it over here. And I'm actually going to change the text to be big so we can see what it's doing. And I'm going to press the function key twice. Hi, this is Mike Myers from Mac Minute showing how dictation works. At this point, I could either hit the done button or I can click the function key again. And there you see, hi, this is Mike Myers from Mac Minutes, showing how dictation works. And you saw it also heard me keep talking. Now you can look at, this is interesting, man, look at this. At this point, you hit the done button or working with Jackie again. Don't quite, not sure where working with Jackie again goes. Didn't say it was perfect, but it does translate uh, most things fairly well. It does require some cleanup afterwards, but if you're one of the kind of people who is a very slow typer and you're trying to write a fairly long document, this may be another option for you, and then you can just go back there and clean it up. So that's it for Mac Mint this week. We'll see you next week. For show notes for this show, contacts, and more, go to the techzen.tv website where you can get show notes for all of our shows. We love to hear from our viewers and listeners. We have an email, a Twitter, and a phone number where you can contact us for each show. For details, visit the techzen.tv website and get the show details. You can also make a video and upload it somewhere like YouTube or Vimeo and then just send us a link. You never know, you may see your video in a future show. You can get all of our shows delivered automatically to your favorite device by going to your favorite podcast website like iTunes and subscribing. Each of our shows also has a YouTube channel you can subscribe to to get regular updates. Our shows are also available on most internet radio networks like Stitcher and TuneIn Radio. You can also watch and listen to our shows on Xbox, TiVo, and Roku. You can even find us on your Zoom.